you have to play Demon Throttle. Demon Throttle is a throwback to those incredibly hard token taker arcade games that keep you wanting more. It's a top-down bullet hell style arcade shooter by the developers of Gato Roboto and recently, Gunbrella. The core gameplay is similar to your classic vertical shooters like your Raidens or your Ikarugas, but instead of being a futuristic fighter jet plane, you're either a cowboy or vampire on a quest for vengeance. That demon kissed my wife. Or something. You're able to move around the level, but the screen will slowly and consistently scroll vertically, pushing you through a conveyor belt of enemies and obstacles. In single player mode, you can switch between characters, which is great because each one plays differently. The cowboy shoots in a rapid vertical line and is perfect for nailing enemies that are far away or focusing on a single target. His special is a bundle of dynamite that kabooms for heaps of damage. While the vampiress's gun shoots a shotgun style burst that fans out, making it perfect for nailing swarms of weak enemies or melting strong ones up close. Her special flings out these homing swords which you can spam if you've got enough ammo that takes care of any enemy on screen. Each character can also jump which is helpful for accessing certain parts of the level and a great way to dodge bullets. Killing enemies gives you XP which gives you more health than bullets to shoot and you can pick up power-ups that make you stronger like tempo which makes your gun shoot faster or speed which makes your character move faster. You can also pick up defense power-ups like the shield that absorbs one thing of damage or a spike ball that spins around you, destroying bullets and enemies in its path. Demon Throttle also has local co-op, which is super fun and adds another level of variety in how you play. It's one thing to be brutally destroyed by a hard game and a totally different thing to get destroyed with a friend together. The thing I love is that it's equal parts brutal and addictive. In my first couple playthroughs, I got to the first boss and was utterly destroyed, but then in my next playthrough, I randomly destroyed a grass patch and unearthed the staircase into a cave. I learned that each stage has a secret level in it with a mini boss, which is a good way to power up for the main boss. Each run gives you enough breadcrumbs or inches of progress to keep you coming back. Speaking of boss battles, oh, the boss battles are so good. Each of them start with some funny dialogue. But then you proceed to get your butt absolutely kicked over and over and over. They each got a set pattern of attacks and movements and you really gotta fight them a couple of times to get it down. You wanna play it now, huh? Well, the thing is, Demon Throttle is unfortunately only available for physical sale. Now, some may see this as a bad thing for both the consumer and the developer. Why limit people's access to a game and the profit from sales? But you gotta remember, this whole game's an homage to classic gaming. The dialogue, the graphics, the gameplay, and yes, even that it's only available physically. If you get the extra special edition, which comes with a classic game manual, which I've already ranted about, there's a really cool secret Easter egg in it. Demon Throttle isn't easy to play, nor is it even easy to find, but if you're a fan of vertical scrolling shoot 'em ups you have to play it. From the old school 4-3 aspect ratio to the crusty 16-bit graphics and sound, Demon Throttle does a fantastic job of paying respects to the shoot 'em up slash bullet hell classics, but still hits you with something new. It's a classic hard candy shell wrapped around a unique and original creamy chocolate. A something. Demon Throttle.